Yes, it's Arnold, your QJS go-to person. So today, what I have in the kitchen is I'm going to show you how to organize or rearrange your art table columns in QJS. So there are two methods, either by refractor fields from vector table or organizing columns in the art table directly. Then you get the final output, which is the arranged art table. So let us get back to our QJS here. This is the art table column. So for instance, I want this tab quality and tab type to rearrange somewhere in the middle or somewhere here, or the elevation to move somewhere. So I've started the first method, which is refractor fields. That means I'll go back to my QJS here. I'll search here for vector table. Vector table, make sure I don't spell it correctly. Yeah, vector table, then refractor fields. Double click it here. Yeah. Then I want to move. For instance, this tab quality, I'll move it somewhere in the middle and this tab type there, construction agency, yes. Then I say run. It will run refractor. That means you're done already. But the good thing about this is it will create a new shape file. So that means when you open that table, it has already been rearranged. See, like this one. So I have many. I have the other one which I also rearranged. So you can open. You see, you have rearranged already. So this is the way of doing it. So you can always make it permanent or by save by exporting and save feature as. So this is the first method of rearranging attribute table using refracted columns. So the second one is organizing columns, which is the simplest one. So let us get back to our attribute table. This one here. So this is our attribute table. Let me try to open it again. Uh, water tabs, attribute table, yeah, yeah. So I want to rearrange this into a way which I'm comfortable with it. So the good thing here is you just right click, then organize column. Then bingo, you just drag and drop. Wow, voila here. And there, voila here. Press upon pressing OK, bingo. Here we have it. So we have rearranged our artwork table column. So thank you for watching and make sure you share the video and 